Are you trying to gain weight? Is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to get stronger? Gaining weight is hard. I don't want you to feel like it's something easy to do. It is definitely something that is challenging. And for a lot of people, they feel like it's impossible. I'm going to give you a bunch of advice and tips that you're going to actually really find beneficial. So maybe have a pen and paper to write it down. Your diet when gaining weight is number one. That's how you gain weight. We need to eat often. And I'm going to talk about what foods we're going to eat today. When we eat, it has to be consistent. So if today I had five meals, then tomorrow should be five meals. We don't want to have one day high meals, one day low meals when gaining weight because your body can't get used to that and you can't build off of that. You don't want your body to be guessing. You want your body to know, oh, okay, you know, it's 1 p.m. It's time for a meal. You know, 4 p.m. It's time for another meal. And snacks is another thing. Eat often, but consistent so your body can get used to that. Healthy fats are going to really help you gain weight. So for example, you know, if you had French toast with peanut butter and some banana on it with some honey, that's going to be a great start. Now, I don't want you thinking it's okay. I can just eat whatever. I'm going to have a bunch of junk food, a bunch of candy, a bunch of everything in my sight. We have to remember, guys, our heart health, our cardiovascular system can only take so much is we still have to do cardio. Cardio doesn't go away. We still need to have that in the mix. We've got to make sure we do our cardio because that's going to allow us to live longer. I want you to gain weight, but I want it to be healthy weight and I want us to gain muscle. So we're not focused on gaining fat, obviously. So we want to get stronger. We want to look more aesthetic. We want to just be healthy, whatever it is, but you do not want to strictly eat bad. A dirty bulk is just not good for you. Muscle weighs more than fat. In order to build that muscle, you have to burn that fat and turn it into muscle. That's what your body wants to do. This will actually speed up your metabolism. And you know what that means? You got to eat more. As you work out, your body becomes like a machine. You get more and more hungry. You want to eat more and more and more. But here's the thing. You have to be consistent, guys. You have to respect your body. Your body wants to know what's happening at what time. And if you start to miss a time or you're, you're not consistent with it, or you're not giving your body the right nutrients, then your body is not going to like it. And you'll get bloated. You'll get a headache. You won't feel proper. You'll wake up one day leaner than you want to be, or you'll wake up heavier than you want to be, or the fat will just be in the stomach area. Now, I know when you said you want to gain weight, you didn't mean in your stomach. For some, it's going to be their upper body with the chest, shoulders, arms, back, or for others, it's the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, or for some both. When we train our bodies properly and have a proper workout split, your body becomes hungry for it. So let's say if my legs are sore and I eat food, your body is going to need new nutrients to help replenish that muscle. So that's why it's important to have a balanced workout program. People that do the same thing over and over again, it's not going to work. You got to mix it up for your body. Dairy is amazing for gaining weight. If you're looking to have cheese, eggs, milk, any of that kind of stuff, that's going to help you gain weight in a healthy fashion. Get quality sleep. A lot of you have been asking me about creatine. I took creatine in my second year university to help me gain weight. I gained 20 pounds from it. But first I talked to my doctor. I made sure I was drinking a lot of water, three to four liters of hydration. I was eating a lot of food and I was working out a lot. Google the side effects to taking creatine. If you're not drinking a lot of water, I would not even think about it. It's not safe for you. And you have to make sure you check with your doctor. I'm going to read to you some of the side effects of taking creatine. Kidney damage, kidney stones, liver damage, dehydration, bloating, digestive problems, weight gain. When you see a supplement and you see a lot of people taking it, don't just hop on it, please. Okay, don't tell anyone this. This is a secret. If you eat a lot of food at once, it's going to make you really sleepy and it's not going to help you gain weight. Crazy, right? What's going to happen is when you eat a lot of food at once, it's actually not going to make you want to eat later. Honestly, you might fall asleep. I don't want you to be drowsy. I want you to be energetic and I want you to have fun with bulking. I wish I could bulk right now. I'm cutting. I got to shred. You eat whatever you want. You have fun and you get to get stronger. Your All your lifts go up and you get bigger muscles and it works well. When we bulk, I would say a healthy measurement to keep on mind is you don't want to gain more than five pounds a month. We don't want to go obese. We want to make sure that it's healthy weight gain that we're gaining. Five pounds is even a lot. I would aim for one pound a week, maybe half a pound. You're eating more calories, but you're not eating everything in sight and going crazy out of your mind just to add weight. I want the weight to stay on. I don't want it to go to your stomach. I want you to look good. I want you to feel good. I want you to be happy. I don't want you to have digestive issues. I want you to love it. I want you to know what you're doing and I want it to be something that's sustainable. I want you to enjoy it. Here's a great benefit to gaining weight that you might not have known about. If me and my friend go out to get food and he doesn't work out as much as I do and we eat the exact same thing, let's say we order a lot of food, I'm going to process that with more muscle better and my body is going to respond way better than his would. And you're going to know yourself better. You're going to know, oh, this food doesn't work for me. It like it hurts my stomach. That's the great thing about eating more food is you actually really understand what foods you like and which foods you don't like. This leads me to my next point. If you're not journaling what you're eating when you're bulking, it's going to be hard to gain weight properly because you have to know which foods your body actually likes and which foods your body doesn't like. Even though you like the taste of something, you know, when you're sitting there and your stomach starts to hurt or, or something weird, 
you get like a headache. So these things are happening because your body just doesn't respond to the food well. And I recommend journaling and just saying how you felt after you ate the food, what you like about it, what you didn't like about it, how long it took to make it something that's convenient. Because if you're missing that meal, then it's not going to work. When I was bulking, I was using my fitness pal to see how much calories I got from each meal, each snack. But in the future, you'll know, oh, that meal is this much calories. This snack is this much calories. You can do that. It's just an additional tip. Hmm. What if you're bulking on a budget? Oh, I got to go buy meat and all this different foods. I'm vegan or I can't afford that. Don't worry. I got you. One canned foods are really underrated. Like I will go and get canned foods. Oh, you can get a bunch for cheap Two, bread is going to be your best friend. So I want you to focus on carbs for bulking. You want to get vegetables in you. You want to get healthy foods in you. If you can't have meat, then that's okay. Do your thing. But I want you to find different ways that you can get a lot of calories in you often that are healthy, that are going to actually benefit you. If you can't afford supplements, I want to focus just on groceries that's honestly better for you i take post-workout and pre-workout and that's it for the longest time i honestly couldn't afford post-workout because it's like 80 bucks 100 bucks for some focus on the groceries and buy smart buy foods that aren't going to expire quickly and foods that you know you can cook here are the main things that i want you to focus on gaining weight it's not easy it's going to take time we're going to do a long-term game now two we want to focus on that diet three we want to work out often four we want to make sure that we're getting a healthy calorie surplus look up what you need to have for your current height and weight and what your goals are if you have a certain weight goal that you want to hit, then that's what you have to put in. Lastly, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.